so in this video let us see how we can implement the conditional aspects of the blade conditional statements so let me just create in uh, you know let me just create an array I'll call it let us say processors and then we'll assign it some values uh, Intel i7 and then let's say Intel i5 and then let's come to counterpart being AMD AMD A10 AMD FX8580 if there is a processor hopefully there should be okay yeah so let me just uh, attach so this is the array now let me just attach the with method with with let's just uh, give it a value I'll call it processors and the actual value being processor and not to forget we should add a comma separator okay now let me just go to home to dot blade dot php so it is control P and home to dot blade dot php is here I've just you know taken out the body section let us add some content here now let us do for each loop for each dollar let us get that processors here processors as processor and not to forget that we should add end for each so as you can see every statement that we use blade templating level we put a at symbol and now here let us uh, get the processors um, let me just say processor and uh, let's add one small br tag okay so here we have the processor being filtered so whenever the value is received by this processors it's going to get to the processor and then it's going to be displayed let me just show it to you so here we have i7 i5 810 fx8580 and then just another content okay so this is how we can pass and run for each loop on the blade templating engine now a better question is how can we use the if statement well the answer to that is here let me just first create a variable called number one and let's just assign to 46 again I'll copy this and I'll make it number two and let me just assign it to 90 and as you could probably expect we're going to chain it with the with method so that it could get passed to the view so I'm going to send it we'll call it uh, number one and the value being uh, dollar number one and then again width see you can chain it with as many number of widths you want there is no restriction on that and then let's say number two and the actual value being dollar number two let me just change copy it paste it and then let's end it with a semicolon and here we have the body let me just process it at if right at if and not to forget let's add end if right here if what if number one exceeds number two and they are variables so we've got to add dollar symbol number two and then what are we supposed to do we are supposed to say that number one exceeds number two so let's just add it here number one exceeds number two whose value is you know let us echo out the number one's value right 
or otherwise if this is not true then let us say at else else I'm just going to copy and paste it now let's just interchange the values number 2 exceeds number 1 and the value is number 2 let us see if this is going to work oops on the route there's an error let's see what that is hmm here this is not required let's see yes so number 2 exceeds number 1 whose value is 90 so as you could possibly see that blade is responsible for doing conditional part such as doing the for each if let us uh, let us have a look at while statement so again let's start with at while let's use the same variable number one okay this time let's make use of number two while number two is lesser than 100 right lesser than 100 let's not forget to add end while it's got to echo out number two number two and let's increment it in steps okay let's just check out if this works yes so here we have 90 90 it's printed twice uh, the reason being you know the reason to avoid confusion let's just do this hr tag and then let's add a br tag and that should do the trick see so this is the previous uh, statement and this is the the working of the while loop and likewise we can have an unless loop also so unless unless okay and then you can have end unless let's see what's happening now so you see this it got changed number one exceeds number two whose value is 46 but actually speaking we should now change it to number two number one here number one number two here and this is going to be number two this will be number one so what is this unless see unless is a way of telling if not unless means if not number one is greater than number two which is another way of telling number two is greater than number one that is what we have put here number two exceeds number one whose value is number two and else we have we could have an else also so that would be number two exceeds number one two number one exceeds number two let's just uh, come back so that is the idea of unless statement and then if you look at the official documentation here we have the official documentation right laravel provi provides support for for loop as well let me just just copy this and as you could possibly expect it's going to be a straightforward display of numbers so for i equals number zero so on and so forth right so we could have this one also let me just make it like this number two let me just replace i's with number twos because if i simply say i it's not going to recognize what is i now again let me just get this pasted here and let us see so oh okay let's just add a br tag so it becomes a little bit easy for us to recognize okay so now this is coming from the for loop the current value is 0 the current value is 1 2 3 so on until 9 because the limit that we have set is less than 10 which is going to be 9 and then coming back to the documentation we can have uh, for else for else is exactly opposite of for each and uh, you can have while for so these are all the conditional statements and uh, that is the a very basic introduction of, uh, uh, you know uh, 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 
that is I should say the introduction to blade so blade has more powerful capabilities but right now for the sake of uh, getting started I believe this is sufficient so just let us have a recap of whatever we discussed so we understood that in blade we can pass parameters and run a for each loop and then there is exactly an opposite of for each called as for else loop and then we can run the if statement and exactly opposite of if we have unless unless is a way of telling if not right let me get rid of this okay and then we can run a while loop and we can run a for loop right so these are all the conditional statements that you could run on Laravel's completing engine blade I hope you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you have any problems comment it I'll try to help you out